The time when you got back at Jack Rabbit Boxing Gym, yeah. you were talking about Takashi Six One Nine or Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. Asked him when you looked at the trunks, what, what was your first thought impression? Uh, basically the idea I kind of asked, I kind of had him do his own uh, kind of thing because he said get creative with it. Um, but them like the two favorite colors of mine and his, so we, I guess we both had like the idea that we kind of wanted together, and we came out fine perfectly how I really wanted it and it's something different I never really seen no one with something that I got and I'll stick with him what was the thought process <laughs> with that with, with him telling you all that what was going through your head about okay this is how I'm gonna design it so the thing is when I when I when I saw him you know what I mean I believe every fighter's got their own personality and their own style and I knew that he was about to make his debut so I kind of wanted to introduce his style into the mix you know what I mean and I was like you know what and those actually are my favorite colors. I'm not even kidding. You know what I mean? It's funny because a lot of people are like, hey, what's your favorite color? I'm like, yo, neon pinks, the mint colors, the neon greens. I'm all about those colors. So, like, I know when a fighter comes in the ring, I know it's like, you got to have a note, your own image, right? So, when I was designing for him, I'm a big Michael Jackson fan. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but the fact that he wanted, like, a boxing trunk that's kind of like basketball, you know what I mean, slash meets boxing. I just thought, you know, that's where my mind just went crazy. Like, yo, I, I'm going to do just something insane with this. And the thing about it is, is if you look at the outfit, it looks like art. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's art because a lot of fighters are used to having like a, the same pattern up here and down here. And I'm like, yo, I'm going to throw this off completely. So when you look at it, it's like, what the heck? You know yeah. what I mean? It's just going to throw you off. Like, yeah. And that's kind of like what I want it to be. So it's like I want people to see him like when he walks in the ring, like, yo, this dude looks legit. You know yeah. what I mean? Because, I mean, he's already making noise. So now let's make more noise. You know what I'm saying? Introduce him to the fashion world. When you put on the boxing trunks and the whole outfit, how did it feel like? Just knowing that this is going to be my first outfit for my first professional fight. I ain't never had, like, something like that. Like, I don't know. It was just different, like, special. I already felt like I was ready to fight, like, instantly. Like, I was just, I was hoping, like, tomorrow is the fight day so I could wear them. Like, I really didn't want to really take them off like that. So that was, like, something big when I saw that. When Ashton was telling you this is how I want the design or the colors and all of that, did he inspire you to start, to start looking at shorts more differently? Yeah, because the thing is, uh, you gotta understand, you gotta, you gotta really think outside the box for these guys. You know what I mean? Just like you said it right now, it makes them want to fight already. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm here to do. Is I want to get that confidence. It's a confidence builder. Yeah. You know, when you when you put it on, it's a confidence builder. Because then after that, you're like, yo, I'm ready to fight. You know what I mean? Like I want to look good in these damn in these damn shorts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When it gets down to it. So yeah, it's like every fighter inspires me to like switch it up. You know what I mean? So I take a little bit from each each one of them. And actually, I don't know if you know this, but I was actually looking through his Instagram to get get a, a bigger feel of who he is. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's I do my research on every fighter, and I want to incorporate a little bit of them into it. And I like to step to make them step out of their comfort zone with something like, yo, you know, that's badass. I never thought I would rock something like that. But now that I see it, you know, I, 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 I vibe with it. You know what I mean? The zippers in the back pocket, do you have anything... About as far as like what you're gonna put behind your pocket or just <laughs> oh no uh i'm not even sure i even thought think of that but i might since he said something i might think of something put something there do you think that as far as your opponent he's gonna look at you what do you think he's gonna it's one thing to know how you are as his rocks and skills but then your outfit and stuff what do you think yeah. his first impression is gonna be seeing you uh, like he's that probably just gonna just look up and down <laughs> and shock i don't know but the thing is that when when a fighter already comes to anything like that, he knows like, yo, this guy means business. You know what I mean? He's serious about the, this career. That's why we tell fighters, yo, your outfits is like your suit. You know what I mean? Going into the office, and if they see this guy dressed up looking all GQ of boxing, they're gonna be like, yo, this guy, he, he's ready. You know what I mean? He's not he's not here to mess around, basically. I know you're, it's your first fight, but after this, Ashton, your next boxing trunks or whatever, it's going to be hard to, like, top it off, don't you think? Like, this outfit uh, Yeah, this is probably, like, I would probably like the best. This is I way too much. Get, yeah, but um, try to strive for more. He probably got more ideas, yeah. too, so. I already got ideas already for the next yeah. outfit. All he's yeah. got to do is just tell me the colors, and yeah. I'll already, I'll, do, I'll, I'll create art, you know what I mean? Right. There's a reason why people keep coming back, because you got to understand, each time I got to create something different in my head.
And especially when a fighter's like, yo, I really want to stand out, that's when I really got to break my brain. Remember I told you, it took me 10 minutes to design that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I literally was just designing it. I had my crayons, I literally with crayons. I don't like computers, because a lot of people like doing it on computers and they look amazing on a computer, but in person it looks like shit. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm a type of guy that's like, I already know what it's gonna look like in person. All I need is a crayon, some pencils, and I'll just draw it out right there, boom. Has any other boxer seen this outfit already? Nope. Nobody's seen it yet. I've only shown it to a few friends of mine that are in the fashion world. Yeah. And they're like, yo, that is a crazy ass outfit. They're like, you just keep getting crazier and crazier yeah. with this stuff. And this one is my personal favorite because it's my favorite colors. So since I was able to use my favorite colors, I really got a chance to experiment. Yeah, it's literally Miami Vice colors. Miami Vice meets basketball, meets yeah, Michael thriller. Jackson, meets Thriller, meets H2O, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> meets IGMOB. It's a mixture of all that. You throw it in the blender, and that's exactly what comes out. Let's leave it as that. Hell yeah. Thank you for your time, both of you guys. Yeah.